Do you hear that? It's the sound of something coming. Something big. Something earth shattering. Like a deal for Sample Logic's Trailer Expressions 3. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Rain from Audio Plugin Deals, and today we are looking indeed at Sample Logic's uh, Trailer Expressions 3, which has some really exciting dramatic and cinematic sounds we have going on sale at the moment. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and also turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all of these that are coming out around Black Friday. Uh, let's get right into it. So as usual, we'll just have a quick walkthrough of the key features, have a listen to some of the sounds, test it out. Uh, it's quite a comprehensive library with all these sort of cinematic trailer sounds. Uh, it is trailer expression, so we've got rises, hits and impacts, ambience, uh, you know, some scary strings and things, and uh, even some vocal layers. So you can see you can select all these categories of sounds on the left hand side when you load in the instrument. Right now I have the hit impacts, so if we just listen to a couple of these. So if we start look at how you might start modifying these sounds, uh, the first thing to look at is global mode. So if you turn that on, so it's the red, then the changes you apply to a sample will affect every sample uh, within the hit impacts. Whereas if you take it off, you're only working with the current sample you have selected. And then in terms of what all these little parameters do, so you have a, a general pitch control, pretty self-explanatory, just transpose up and down, semitones. You have a standard ADSR envelope, and you have low cut and high cut. You can filter it. Cool. Uh, you could pitch shift it down. And then you could mess with these envelopes as well. Now, two really interesting controls here are the Energizer and the Polisher. So if we turn the Energizer on, this is some distortion, some compression, and some saturation all loaded into one, uh, just add some crunch to it. And then the Polisher is sort of like a mastering chain almost. It's got some EQ, it's got some stereo imaging built into it as well. A um, bit more saturation, a bit of a more subtle variety. If I take the Energizer off. You can hear that that boosts that quite nicely. Uh, and then you have two more effects here. So delay, pretty self-explanatory, you can select a sort of characteristic of the delay and how much. Convolution is a variety of different effects that you can experiment with, so uh, this one is Age of Wonder, let's see how that sounds. Yeah, but if you change it, this will all become different things, so uh, thievery, let's see. Cool. Uh, and so one last thing to note is that the low cut and high cut also have LFOs built into them. So you can turn these LFOs on the type of wave, the speed, intensity is how strong the LFO oscillates, and fade in is how long until they start oscillating. Let's make it eighth notes and jam the intensity up. You get the idea. Now, the other really cool feature that we should have a look at is the stretch. So if you play a sample, and for this I might actually show you the vocal uh, sounds, might be a great way to illustrate the stretch feature. Let's see, if you play a sample,
and then you click stretch. What it essentially does is it takes that sample and uh, remaps it to your keyboard at different pitches. So rather than cycling through selecting different samples when you hit different keys, uh, you can actually play the sample melodically or it turns it more into a synth patch. So now it's much lower. So that's, that's a really neat feature. And you can also reverse the samples. Uh, I might bring the starting point a bit closer in. Uh, so if we listen again to what we had before, let's see if we can maybe incorporate some vocal layers in. I mean, uh, that was something I'd quickly done earlier, but I mean, it doesn't need to do, have that much more, but um, yeah, for the sake of this experiment, we'll put the vocals in. Uh, I might not reverse this. But yeah, we can use that. We can put a little bit of energy in, polish it more. Let's just see how we go. High drama. Well, there you go. Uh, there's not much else to say, really. It's you know a really cool and useful tool with a variety of different features. So uh, maybe the only thing left to do is perhaps just to look at a few more of the different varieties of sounds because you've only seen the ones I've used so far. Um, but in terms of actually working with the instrument, pretty self-explanatory. So let's see, we've got swells here. Those would be great for adding a bit of drama as well and having low drones. And we can look at a couple of other things. What's this memory something? Oh, it's just called Memories. Wow. So yeah, these, um, yeah, you can just hear really cool uh, sounds available right there at your fingertips. Super cinematic. Um, super high quality sounds as well for sure. I'll definitely be using this a lot going forward. It's great for both sound design and for music. You can you can easily fit these into a musical capacity, um, and even fit something like bolstering your orchestra with the some of the impacts, having a little bit of ambience that you can then build the rest of your track on top of. Yeah, there's a lot of possibilities here, and as you can see, we can just walk through it super easily. Um, I feel like I've only been talking for about five minutes. I can see it's been longer than that, but it just feels like we've gone through it all in a jiffy. So, um, yeah, really simple to use, really great sounds. All there is to it, really. That's uh, Trailer Expressions 3 by Sample Logic. Uh, I've been Rain from Audio Plugin Deals. See you in the next one.